In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of parcel creation and talk about automatic versus manual parcel creation. To initiate parcel creation, what we need to do is we need to go up to the home tab of the ribbon bar and go to the parcel dropdown and select parcel creation tools. Inside of parcel creation tools, we have the create parcel area inside of the toolbar. The first selection is for create parcel. What this does is it sets up a parcel site and it creates a placeholder for your first initial parcel. Without lines and arcs, you won't have a parcel in your drawing. So that leads us to the first three options, which are manual creation of parcels using single segments, single arcs, or drawing tangent to tangent with no curves. What this allows you to do is create a single closed parcel in the method of either creating multiple segments at one time, creating a single segment at one time, or creating a single arc at one time. The fourth option that we have available in our parcel layout tools window is our automatic parcel creation. Inside of the drop down for this, we have slide lines and swing lines. What slide lines are is they are the creation of parcels using a frontage of an existing parcel, and swing lines also use a frontage of an existing parcel, but it uses a single point to radiate lines out from a single origination point. These two options have extended parameters that are used to automatically create parcels. The parameters that we have for automatic creation of parcels is minimum area, minimum frontage, which is uh, the area in front of a parcel, whether or not we use the minimum frontage at a specific offset, and that offset would be off of that frontage line that we're going to select, the minimum width of a parcel, the minimum depth of, par of a parcel, whether or not we want to set a maximum depth of a parcel, and what that maximum depth is, and then how we want to build these parcels if there's multiple solutions possible. And those two options are use shortest frontage and use smallest area. Now we get into, in our automatic creation, whether or not it is fully automatic or if it is semi-automatic. If automatic mode is set to off, what will happen is Civil 3D will create a single parcel and then it will ask you to accept it and move on to the next parcel in a series of parcels until you get to the end of your parcel creation method. In automatic mode on, it creates multiple parcels at a single click of a button.